Yo, this is the first of my three-part series of how I would write The Flash Season 9. And so we're just going to start off around Episode 5, or towards the end of the Red Death arc. And Iris is basically injured from an attack that Red Death threw. And Barry is distracted as a result of that. And so Red Death takes this time to time travel with the intention of killing a younger Barry Allen. With her thought process being that having no Barry Allen at all, equals her plans not being stopped so that she can actually restore her timeline and she travels back to march 18 2000 which is the night that barry's mother died just a few minutes before the time portals that reverse flash and og barry allen come out of opens and barry follows her and red death traps him with what i will now call a wayne meta dampening technology or something similar to that electricity camp that we saw in the season 4 premiere. And her plan, she, she plans to stop OG Barry Allen from coming out of the portal and wishes for Reverse Flash to finish the job. Because basically she travels just a few minutes before those portals open and then she intends for Reverse Flash to like come out of the portal first and Red Death and our Barry Allen are basically like a little bit of a distance away from where the portal opens. And Red Death's plan is to wait for the portal to open, for Reverse Flash to pass through, and then Red Death intercepts OG Barry Allen coming out of the portal. And then her plan is to stop OG Barry Allen and wait for Reverse Flash to finish the job. But Reverse Flash notices some red sparks of lightning outside of the house. And of course, he knew someone was chasing him, which is OG Barry Allen. So now this is going to make Reverse Flash like wonder what happened, something is going wrong. And he runs out and sees the Red Death and instantly like kills her with his face and hand. So this is how we will, we will get rid of the Red Death as a character. And then with his, with Reverse Flash's thought process being, he needed to be sure of as little contingencies so everything goes to plan. And him seeing towards a distance, our Barry Allen sets off like a sort of revelation that he fails to kill a child Barry Allen. So he runs out of that area without him killing OG Barry Allen because he needs to understand all the timeline alterations that may have happened because this was not his plan and he did not expect this to happen. And I'm basically going to introduce a new rule in the show that may contradict past explanations of the show, which is that Time Portal will follow through to their intended destination no matter what. For example, if the reverse flash that came back to the year 2000 enters a time portal that Red Death opened from 2023 and reverse flash goes into that time portal, it'll take him to 2023 in the timeline that Barry Allen becomes the flash in 2014, basically. And so our Barry is knocked out. OG Barry takes him to 2024. Now, you may be wondering, what about the crisis? But that is no longer occurring, as I'll explain later on. So, you may be wondering, where does Reverse Flash go? Well, he will time travel to the year 1983, somewhere around that time. And he will go by the name of Professor Daniel Zoom, while taking on a new disguise. And he eventually runs for mayor in those years. And I think I want to say by 1985. And he becomes a politician and becomes close friends with the Allens family. And I don't really know how the politics may work, but basically, Henry Allen will become Yabarthan's personal doctor as a mayor, if that makes sense. Because Henry Allen was a doctor, if you don't remember. And by the year 1990, on May 13th, two couples give birth, Hugo and Charlene Dawn, and Henry Allen and Nora Allen. The doctor on duty that day, Dr. Gilmore, due to his carelessness, loses Hugo and Charlene's child while Nora gives birth to twins, Barry and his fraternal twin. Dr. Gilmore pronounces the second twin dead and gives it to the Thawne, who named him Malcolm Eddie Thawne, who will later go on to become Cobalt Blue. So that's basically just like the first part of the story right now that I'm rewriting. And um, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. But yeah, that's about it. Peace.